British Commonwealth turn 8.4. We get to our tech rolls. They have three major factories. They're going to go for radar, wartime economy, and improved factories. Now, let's see how they do. Oh, we got a 10, a 10, and an 8. Yahtzee. They got them all. I'm going to go up on all three. Put them on the board for improved factories. Moves them up to stage three for wartime, uh, for radar, and stage three for uh, wartime economy, which they are at war. They are at war with Germany. They are not at war with Japan currently. Okay, purchases. Anzacs have five dollars. They're gonna save their money. Uh, England, Great Britain, is gonna buy. They have ten. They're gonna spend nine and buy three infantry. The F FEC has uh, fourteen dollars, I believe. Yes, and they're gonna spend all their money. They're gonna lend lease a mountain infantry to the KMT. They're gonna lend lease a militia to the Free French. And they're going to purchase two Gurkhas. Okay. Combat moves. Uh, nothing in the Pacific as of yet. But over here, uh, we are. I have to find my. Here we go. Over here. We are going to put a fighter on combat air patrol. And it's going to pair with this destroyer. And we're going to hunt that sub right now. Uh, I believe that is all the combat they're going to do. Uh, nope, I see another move. We're going to take this fighter in Egypt. Eastern Egypt. They're going to go one, two, three. He's going to go on combat air patrol. Over there. And he's got a destroyer. So they can both attack that sub. Uh, there's not much I can do about that one down there. So. I'm going to grab my book because I always forget how to do uh, <clears throat> sub hunting. Okay. So. Combat. Well, I know I get to shoot at the sub. So, the fighter is attacking at 6. And the destroyer... Oh, I'll take that back. The fighter is attacking at 6. And the destroyer is attacking at 4. So, I will roll for the fighter. A seven is a miss. Destroyer at four is a miss. Shubs, the sub shoots back at a two. So, I'm going to roll again. And a miss. Now, I'm not sure if the sub can submerge. I'm going to have to double check on that. But if it can't, I'm re-rolling. Now for the fighter. Miss. Destroyer. Miss. Sub, miss, crappy dice, fighter, hits, sub, hits, so it looks like I lose the destroyer, but they lose the sub, okay, and that was C-Zone 79, 
uh, we're going to do the same thing up there. And the problem is if that's a sub, I think everything gets to shoot at if it starts engaging. So we're going to go with the fighter first. Fighter hits. The sub shoots back. A two. So if that is the case, I will take a hit on... Actually, I would have to lose a ship in the zone. I'll lose the torpedo boat destroyer right here. And I'm going to have to double check on those rules just to make sure I did that correctly. If anyone knows, they can help me out. So it looks like they lost both subs. We lost a destroyer over here. So I'm going to flip that guy over. And then, like I said, I'm going to check the rules. But the sub is gone. And this sub is gone. Uh, I am also going to put at this time this cruiser over here, heavy cruiser on escort duty to guard that line in case that sub wants to come back up there. Uh, that's it as far as combat moves. Non combat for the Anzacs. They're going to move a destroyer out here to C Zone 2. Uh, 134, they're going to place that destroyer on escort duty in case Japan decides to attack next turn. They'll have to, that, that area will be uh, escort duty. Mm. I'm going to also do that with this one. I'm putting the destroyer out there on escort duty. I'm going to move this coastal sub up one space. I'm going to move this transport one, two over to here. I'm going to fly this seaplane one, two, three, four. He's going to land in Ceylon. I'm going to move this one infantry up. I'm going to move these two infantry up. Let's see what else. I'm going to place units. The FCC, when leasing an infantry. Mountain one to the KMT is going there. They're going to put their two Gurkhas. I believe they can put them both in any place they want. They're going to put them both in Burma. Uh, lease the militia. I'm going to send the, the, the uh, militia this way to Syria. Uh, and what I ain't gonna do it because of the subs in case we didn't take them out. So put that militia in Syria. Uh, three infantry that England bought are gonna go mm, they're all going in London. Actually two in London one in uh, the Midlands That gives us four infantry in England. Uh, any other non-combat moves I want to do? Uh, not really. Nope, not at this time over here. Uh, Egypt, Africa. Non-combat that I forgot. I'm going to rail this guy from South Africa to East in Egypt. That's the one move there. Uh, uh, collect income. Okay. 
Let's see where we're at on the main income chart. Uh, FCC at 14, Anzac at 7, Great Britain at 36. Let's check their bonuses. Uh, Great Britain currently, 2 for the Suez Canal, 2 for... Ah, uh, they lost that. I think the Russians took that last turn. Yes, they did, so they lose that one. They no longer have that. So they're getting 2. Uh, the Anzac, no enemy surface ships, one in two spaces. They get that one. And the Far East Command, the Allies have Aden in Eastern Egypt. So $16 for the Far East Command, $9 for Anzac. They say 5 they'll give them 14 Great Britain, uh, 2 IPP bonus. I believe they're at 36 That would give them 38 Plus they save the dollar, so 39. Uh, I'm gonna show a couple non-combat moves Japan made because I forgot to film them. Uh, they took this aircraft carrier with a fighter and attack bomber down from Tokyo and put it with the rest of the fleet next to Formosa. They also grabbed uh, two SNL lefts that were up here and brought them down to Formosa. They took the six Marines that were in Nanking, they moved over into Hunan. And I railed an infantry from Rihi down into Hunan. Uh, I took the light cruiser that was out in the Caroline Islands and moved that to the fleet. I also took the heavy cruiser that was up there by Tokyo and moved it into the fleet. So that is the end of turn 8.4. We'll have the French up. Actually, I'm going to do the French right now because they really don't have much. So they get no tech rolls. They have no money. But what they do have are two battleships and a torpedo boat destroyer. And they're going to move these two. Uh, one, two, and park them right there. And that is the end of their turn. They do have some income. Uh, the French are at five, actually. They have still two. Down in Southeast Asia, they have Syria, which is worth a dollar, that's three, Tunisia, and Morocco. So they get five dollars. That is the end of France, turn 8.5.